Hello guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse here with another Mythbusters guide. Now this time we are taking a look at power plants and more importantly water intake for them. So I've seen online a lot of comments that are stating that people run multiple power plants with a single water extractor without overclocking as well, which is incredible uh, considering a pipeline can hold 300 meters cubed of water and each power plant uses 45 meters cubed of water per minute um, to generate the steam for the power. But for some reason, people can still run 10, 20, in some cases I've heard people say 50 power plants with a single water extractor which baffles me some. So that's what we're getting into today. So if you do enjoy this video, please do drop a thumbs up, especially if you find it helpful. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. But getting into it, we're currently running one water extractor and 10 coal power plants. Now they're all on a single powered circuit. And we're going to go down there in a minute and see what's happening. Because a water extractor at 250% overclock can generate us a total of 300 meters cubed of water per minute. Uh, that's enough to fill the pipelines um, at full capacity, which in turn is enough to power just over six power plants. However, you can see here that all 10 are running. So let's go down and have a look at what's happening. Could people be right in that we can run multiple power plants with just a single uh, water extractor? Well, let's find out. We now went running at 750.1 megawatts. Now, I don't know why the, there's the 0.1 here, but I do know it's this um, generator that's causing it. Not 0.1. Odd. But as you can see, we have a full storage of water, and we're also running at 100%, totaling 10 power plants at 750 megawatts. Um, we actually go up here we'll see better we're going to check each and every one of these power plants to see if they are running at a hundred percent efficiency um yes these are all full yes again the same yeah so it could be that people are right um you can power multiple power plants with a single water extractor. In fact, we have 10 already and I'm tempted to find out how much, um, how many more power plants we can add to this with this one water extractor providing energy for them. But before we get any further, we do have to acknowledge something important. These 10 um, power plants, which can provide enough for 750 megawatt hours of power are only powering a single uh, it says there's no consumption here are only power um powering this single water extractor so what happens if we let's say increase the consumption by 50 percent so that out of the 750 uh, watts that we have Provided we use 375. So I'm going to very quickly set up a uh, little factory and we're going to test this out. So I've now finished a basic construction line. Uh, we're going to be creating high speed connectors and we're using six manufacturers. Now, manufacturers use 55 megawatt hours at each uh, per minute in use. And so we have six available and that's 55 each, which comes to 330 megawatt hours. And the water extractor uses 20 megawatt hours per minute. So we should be consuming 350 megawatt hours um, currently once this is running. And obviously we're providing 750 from the 10 power plants. We're going to connect these up now. And we're going to see what happens because I've got a feeling that we'll start to see maybe three or four of these shut down depending on how long these last. Because if they run out before uh, the power runs out of water, then it may not work. But let's have a look. 
Okay, so we are back. We now have the 10 power plants and water extractor connected to the six manufacturers, all of which are creating uh, high speed connectors. And these six manufacturers, along with this extractor, should be producing, uh, consuming 350 megawatt hours in total, whereas these should be producing. 750 so we're going to have a look and see what's happened now in regards to the power now we can see here we are producing 750 megawatts currently and we're consuming 350 now if we go down to maybe let's say midway we can see that currently we still have a, a full tank so to speak in our power generators and that's the first five. So if we go along here, let's check this one. Now again, we're at 750 megawatts capacity and 350 consumption. And here we're still full. It just dips ever so slightly. Now I predict if these are running at 100% capacity, soon we will start to see, in fact, I think we already can, this looks like it's running out of water yes and so this will soon stop dropping so as soon as this drops this will turn off then it will happen to this one and it will continue down until we're running at full production um, possible which considering this is only able to generate 120 it's not overclocked that means that we should be only able to power two and a half generators which would give us um 150 just and just over 180 megawatt hours power which means soon everything should shut down there we go one has run out this one will now follow the second one out next will be this one down to four you can see it still has some water in the pipes but this has run out now we might see them start up again and then drop down again okay so this is gradually decreasing it's still receiving water, but it is decreasing. It's using it up uh, faster than it can intake the water. And so this will soon drop off. And it's going to continue like this, which proves that though, yes, you can use one extractor for multiple power plants. As soon as your factory starts consuming more and more energy, you'll find that your uh, generators cannot, um, well, your extractor cannot keep up with the demand on it. And thus, it will eventually run the pipe dry, and then you're going to have power issues subsequently because of that. There you are, that is the end of the power. So you've seen the power go off there. Um, this system is working almost perfectly. And so what we have is three extractors connected to eight power plants. Uh, this is because we are currently producing here a total of 360 water per minute. And these use up 45 per minute. So that's 90, 180, 270, 360. So it is perfect. Um, and what we've done is the first two extractors connect together and run the water along the first five power generators. And then the water that's left over gets carried on to these three. However, you need the third extractor, whose pipe is going to run above the others, to then come down and connect after the fifth generator just here to fill up the pipe again. And if we click here, you can see it is full to the brim and that is why you need to have the correct number of 
water extractors to keep up with the demand of your power plants because you cannot run a factory with just one extractor to more than, well, depends how overclocked it is. But even at max overclock, you could only provide water for six coal power plants. So yes, you can power 10, 20 power plants with a single water extractor, but as soon as you start using up the power that you're producing, if you, as soon as you start consuming that within your factory, you're going to find out that you very quickly run out of power and everything ends up turning off. So there you are guys, if you did enjoy this Mythbusters guide to water and its uses within the power plant settings, then please do drop a thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you do want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. We have plenty of Mythbusters videos that come out every time we have uh, differing opinions online. There's also guides that we do as well as Let's Plays. So it would be awesome to see you within the community. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. And as always, Ciao for now.